Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today, I'm so excited, it's 10 Minute Tuesday and we're going to make this great card in 10 minutes or less. Look at this little feature here. Isn't that cool? That little wreath? That wreath was made with the Delicate Doily stamp. I love that. I love repurposing just ordinary stamp sets into something else. So now I can use this for the holidays as well. So let's get started. Okay, for this card, we have two big shot items. One is the scallop square. And that is the scalped dual square. So there's actually two of them. I really like this. Um, see, there's one here, this little small one. But we're using this one. This is the 3x3 three three one. In addition, there is some texture just at the top of this card, and that is used with the Petals of Plenty. This is the embossing um, texture embossing folder, and all we're going to do is slide it in, oh, about an inch or so, about like that, and then we'll run it through the Big Shot and get that texture. So here's what that looks like. So just at the top here. Next, we're going to do a little stamping. We're going to stamp the doily to create our wreath. Just inking this up in garden green. Okay, and give it a good firm tapping. There you go. Okay, so the next stamping we're going to do is for the greeting. And I'm using a stamp set called Petite Pears. Love this stamp set. It really is a must have. I love it because it, you get both inside inside and outside greeting. So that's what we're using is the Merry Christmas and a Happy, Joyful, Bright New Year. Alright, we're going to stamp that with Cherry Cobbler and I've just got some scratch paper here. It just needs to be large enough to, um, we're going to punch these greetings out with a one and one quarter inch punch. And actually, that's upside down, but no big deal because we're just going to punch it. All right, so like I said, I'm using Cherry Cobbler. I'm going to take my one and one quarter inch punch to center that in there. And look at the other one. There we go. Okay, so we're ready to put our card together. And this is the base. It is eight and a half by five and a half. Just going to fold that in half. Set that side for a minute. We're going to take our, this is garden green that we already pre-did the texture embossing on. And this was four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to add a piece of Frostwood Lodge. Love this paper. And this measures one and a quarter by four. And we're just going to put this kind of where it meets the embossing and what's nice about this is that if you got the embossing in just slightly crooked this you can cover it up with this little piece of paper we're going to add it to our base right here right in the middle here okay now we're going to finish up with um, Kind of the focal point, the, the wreath pieces. We're going to take this and set it aside for now, but we're going to add the Merry Christmas one and attach it to a circle that we cut. And this is Cherry Cobbler with the one and three eighths inch circle punch. We're going to then add it to the center of our, our card here. So I'll come in a little bit closer so you can see how I'm going to do this. All right and see how, isn't that cute? So I just kind of, I'm not pressing it down yet, I'm kind of getting it positioned so all the same sort of features are shown. Oh, I love that, isn't that cute? Yay! Then I'm gonna flip it over, we're gonna add some dimensionals on the back side here. Okay, and just add that to our card. The next thing that I want to do is make a bow, and I've already pre-made mine. I have a separate video, it's called the bunny ear bow, that you can watch on, on how to do that. But I used about 8 to 10 inches. This is the half inch seam binding in Cherry Cobbler. This is, um, we're going to add a glue dot. There we go. 
Let's press that on there and press it right to our project. There, how cute is that card? I just love the way that turned out. But we're not quite done. We're going to add a little greeting to the inside. And that's what we had stamped earlier. We'll go ahead and attach that to that one and three eighths inch circle again. And there we go. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this 10 minute Tuesday. Um, be sure to stop on my blog at DoStampinWithDawn.com.